Hey everyone, so something very exciting happens. So Xnerbs joined Plasticity. So Xnerbs is a professional tool for surface modeling workflow, which was prior available like in Rhino and other professional uh, software. But yeah, now it's on Plasticity and it looks like it's very powerful. And I just want to show you a difference and I just want to find out if there is such a big difference or if it's just hype or yeah, what it is about. So again, guys, very important before we start, I'm just starting to learn about XNERP. So it's like my first model, right? So I also might get things totally wrong and I'm not like a professional industry expert, <laughs> nothing out of that. So it's just some of my thoughts. And yeah, I've, I've created that uh, faucet here or faucet. I don't know what's in English, the word. And just to compare the, the normal patch and loft from plasticity, which is already amazing and the new Xnerbs uh, thing. So let's start. And guys, just a quick announcement. Easter is coming, right? So I will do a huge special to celebrate Easter with you. So if you don't want to miss any infos and all of the details of that special, then first link in the description, you can sign up for my newsletter where I always share exclusive deals, fresh tutorials, tips, and all special offers and special deals firsthand. So check it out, first link in the description, and let's go back to our video. So if you are in a studio version, version so again, Xnerbs is only available for the studio version and it's only in the beta. So it will roll out with, with, with time and it will improve. And also plasticity itself will make some promotional videos and all that kind of stuff. So it's like very early in beginning, but we have already some cool things. So if you search and you press F and you search for Xnerbs, then you have it here. I have it on shift four. So patches shift three, Xnerbs is shift four. So if you press Xnerbs, you can, you see, you can just add. So now it will like automatically show it to you in, in real time, how the surface will look like. So that's, this is really cool. Um, yeah, so let's create. Okay. So first of all, we need here some supporting edges and now let's see what we will get. So if we uh, press Xnerbs, then we can start with shift to add all of those edges and curves. And let's give it here. Yeah. G2. Why not? And here G2. And we have something like that. And you see our surface is not there where we want it to be. That's why I've created here this, um, yes, guide. And if you press here on select guide, you can add with a shift click, uh, those guides here. So it's like very similar to patch. So we have this result and let's pray, uh, press for now. Okay. And let's just delete all that kind of stuff and, and just mirror it over for now. So yeah, we have a pretty nice result here, but still honestly, you see, it's not just that you get perfect magical, um, surfaces of course i know that this patch that we just did is just huge right it, it has so many angles and it's such a complex uh, shape so obviously if you want to get it like very uh, very clean surface we would have to break down like into two or three um surfaces uh, but still but look the in the the thing is that if we do that so i did that already but if we would do the same with the patch command and here, so if we would just select all of the edges in the curves and just patch it as we usually are doing. So just patch and yeah, let's give it here G1 and here G1. And you see, we can also add this um, guiding curve here. And you see, we are getting a very, very similar good result. So let's just mirror that over. And guys, the interesting thing is, that the patch is even better than the new Xnerbs thing. So yeah, I don't know why, why this is, right? Some, maybe something I messed up, but it's exactly the same. And I know that we have to break it down to make it more clean. But you see, I mean, wh why I, I'm showing you uh, that here. So that the, 
because I can imagine, you know, like now XNERPS comes out and Plasticity will, will promote it and other people and stuff and a lot of beginners especially, they will think, oh, that's the magic pill or I we we need XNERPS and everything will be one million times better just if we have XNERPS. Because it's like new and everyone will make videos about it. But you see, it's so even I, it's just again, it's like my first model I'm experimenting. So maybe I messed up something, but it's not something like the magic pill. It, it will just make everything better. And you know, like the normal plasticity, like the parasolid um, loft and patch is already amazing. But yeah, but let's leave it as is and uh, let's fill the top because at the top, we will see again something interesting. So let's just extrude those edges here. And again, the first one, we will just x -nub it. So again, just x -nub and just select all of those edges here and curves and give it here. Yeah, we can even give it G2, press OK. And let's mirror it over and join everything. And yeah, and here you see, so it looks very clean. It's still not perfect somehow. But that looks already very, very beautiful, right? So let's do the same with patch. And by the way, if Nick or someone from the team is watching, guys, this new matte cap, the standard matte cap is horrible. Look, we have a white spots and completely black spots. So if you want to work, look like from this angle here on the surface, it's completely black. It's, it's absolutely horrible. Like I, I don't use it at all like this new matte cap. So I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? If you have uh, tried that, but it's horrible. It's, I don't think it's a good idea, but let's create the same with patch. So select those edges and curves and let's patch it and give it here G1 or G2. So you see already with patch, we don't even get a G2, right? Because most probably my curve that I've created here has no G2 continuity. So you see, uh, X snaps is already a little bit more powerful. It can just produce better continuity, like out of the box kind of, right? But if we just take this now and join that, and honestly guys, like, I don't know, but the, the, the patch is better than the x in this particular example. Like, look, this right one is, is, this right one is perfect. The lines here, no interruption at all. But the X nerves, <laughs> it looks not perfect here. And this is very interesting. So I also, I know guys that I, I saw also other videos from, from Chris, uh, Chris, uh, Christian Küchmeister Swagger. Then if you use it super professional, like with car modeling and with the experience that he has, of course, it's amazing. But again, you see it's, it's, it's not just the magic pill. It's not just, or it will make everything better, but let me just try something because I was trying to use uh, like a G2. So let's just see what it will give us if we just use G1, the same what we did here with the patch and join. And honestly, guys, the patch from plasticity in this example is better, much, much better then this whole x nerve thing. I did not expect that. So I've tried also some other things where x nerves is much better. So you will see it in the next video. But in this example, you see, again, it's if you're just a hobbyist or something, or you, you're not working at Porsche or, or something very professional, you know, then the, the plasticity patch is already crazy, crazy good, you know? And again, I'm, I'm just learning, right? But that's just objective fact that in this example, it's not all x -nerves makes everything better. And again, in an, another example that I did, that x -nerves was much better than patch. But yeah, still very interesting that we got this result here. So. So write a comment under this video, what you think about it. <laughs> if I messed up something, I don't know what your experiences are with x -nerves if you have. Also leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss all of my other videos. 
And yeah, so I will just continue to practice and learn about it and experiment a lot of uh, things with that. So I will do also more videos about how to use it like properly, because again, it's just like the very beginning. It's like my second model. So it was like my first model that I've created, right? And yeah. So let me know what you think. Have a nice day. Bye.